Hey guys, I'm in Lenoir, Lenore City, Tennessee. This, I think, is what they call the Little Tennessee River. Over here, you can make out the marina, and on the left there is a very big restaurant. I want to say that restaurant's called Calhoun's. This is a really nice park. We'll show you more of the main park area here in a minute, but. It's pretty cool. There's tennis courts, there's a volleyball net, there is a dog park, of course a boat ramp. There's lots of fishing opportunities. I don't know what this big thing is here. I've been enjoying Tennessee. It's been pretty warm, pretty humid. But it's a nice place, it's really pretty. I've noticed everyone here, if I go to campsites, tends to be a tent camper. I haven't really seen much in the way of trailers or anything. I saw one trailer. Ah, it's a warning sign. <laughs> Dangerous waters! There's all these ducks over there in the park, and they have this, uh, something I haven't seen except at zoos. They have this thing where you can feed some coins in and get food to uh, feed the ducks. It's kind of cool. The only challenge I've been having out here in Tennessee is that it hasn't been super sunny. As you can see, it's a very sunny day today, and I'm actually hoping to get a full charge on the solar system on my batteries today because they've been pretty low. They've been so low I've been eating a lot of canned food because I can't. Uh, I was finally able to cook today. I made some rice and broccoli. It was really good to eat some good homemade food instead of just canned veggies and the stuff I've been eating. So we're getting close to the big day guys for Thailand. I'm getting excited. I've been doing more research and I'm actually getting more and more excited about Malaysia, my second destination, because the thing that's really cool is it's really kind of the law of supply and demand. And Thailand is like super popular destination for digital nomads. And I think the Thai people are onto this and they're basically raising the bar of entry, making it to where you can only stay, you know, 30 days if you just come in with a passport. And I'm sure they're making a lot of money on visas. Now Malaysia is a less popular destination, as are generally most of the places around Thailand, whether you're talking about Laos, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, none of them are quite as popular as Thailand, but really the only place I've researched as far as visa laws and how long you're allowed to be there is Malaysia. and. I did not research it ahead of time before I bought my ticket to go there. I just kind of assumed it was going to be 30 days, you know, the same as Thailand. If you go there with just a passport, you can stay 30 days, but that is not the case. You can stay 90 days in Malaysia, which is really exciting, especially the more I learn about it. I hope the AC doesn't get too loud, guys, but I got to crank it up. It's burning up in here. Um, the more I research Malaysia, the more excited I get. It's really got some cool beaches and it's got a rainforest. Um, Kuala Lumpur is a really cool city. I'm actually flying into Penang. Uh, yes, Calhoun's restaurant is over there on the right. Then we drive around this thing and we'll be at the park. Here's the marina on the right, guys. I don't know if this is just somewhere where like the marina big wigs live. <laughs> There's a couple of businesses over here on the right. Um, you can see the tennis courts up there. It's Sunday today, so there's some people there playing tennis. But this is just a beautiful area. You can tell they've put a lot of effort into it um, and a lot of money and it's just really nice. And the people use it. It's been, even during the week, uh, during the day during the week, 
There's been quite a few people here. We'll just go ahead and take kind of the full loop and show you guys. On the right up here is the actual park. On the left here is the dog park. So we'll hook a right here. Oh, and this park, I don't know if you caught that sign right there, but the park is open until 11 p.m., which is awesome. I've been hanging out here quite a bit, and you can stay till past bedtime, well, for me. Of course, you probably couldn't get away with spending the night here. I have a feeling they patrol this thing. Uh, but, of course, on the left, we've got, you know, your usual playground-type stuff. Up here, just beyond it, we've got the boat ramp, and you'll see quite a few people have their boats in. Not as many as yesterday, but quite a bit. And then there's a lot of just really little secluded nooks and crannies you can pull into. They're heavily shaded. So this is just a great place to come cool off. They got restrooms up here on the right. And they're really big restrooms. They remind me like of the facilities at the beach. And there's all these nice little picnic areas. There's the ducks and the duck machine. You can see straight in front of you, the duck food machine. to pull into up here pretty cool of course we got the marina here up ahead what the heck is this for guys I mean it looks almost like something that would take vehicles or something across the water I don't know are all big things. Cool place, cool park. Tennessee is definitely a neat place to come hang out. Um, the Smokies are really beautiful, but again, if you're relying on solar panels, as I am with my van, <laughs> they don't call it the Smoky Mountains for nothing. It's pretty misty. The trees are really tall, and you know, as you guys could see in my video, it's just pretty shady. You can find you kind of a little slice of sun to park in, but it's only got to be in a very limited time of day with that kind of tree cover. So I really need to get my van back in the sun. Whew, as hot as it is, get my van back in the sun on this sunny day and try to get those uh, batteries full. I got it up over 13 now. It's been hovering around 11, 9 to 12, 1 for days now. So. This should be a good opportunity to try to get these batteries full. Questions, comments, video requests, askwellanything at gmail.com, and I'll see you next time, YouTube.